What is up, lads? My name is Lucifer. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create some cool text using Video Copilot's plugin Saber in After Effects. Now, a couple of things before we get started. Yes, you will need Saber by Video Copilot. If you don't know what that is, it is a plugin for After Effects and it is completely free. I'll leave a link in the description so you can get it easily. Just scroll down, click it, install it. It's really simple. If you have any questions about this tutorial, then feel free to leave them in the comments. Or if you have any other suggestions, leave them there as well. If you prefer to chat to me directly, you can pop into my Twitch stream. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4 to 9 p.m. BST, or at any other time that I feel like it. But yeah, we play a lot of games. We played some guitar on a stream, actually, the other stream. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd love to see you there. Why don't you drop a follow? And if you are new here and you enjoy this video and you'd like to see other videos, I upload every single Friday. So how about you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Right, let's get straight into this. Obviously, you're going to need After Effects open. Let's make a new composition. You can call it whatever you want and mess around with any of the settings. That's completely fine. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need a new solid. This is what you're going to be applying the Saber effect to. Now, we're going to go to the right side of the screen to the effects and presets panel. If you don't see it, hit these two arrows next to character and it will be at the top there. And we're going to need to get the plugin Saber to apply it to the black solid. So you can either scroll down to Video Copilot or you can just type in Saber. It will come up, you just drag it onto the solid there. And this blue line will appear. The, this is the default Saber that comes up. Now Saber, as the name may suggest, was primarily made to make lightsaber effects. However, today we're going to be using it for cool text because we don't play by the rules around here. Uh, but there's a lot of cool stuff you can do for this. You can make it so your logo looks cool. You can make it so you can make cool spells. Like there's a whole bunch of presets here, which we'll get into those in a sec. Next thing you need to do since we are applying this effect to text is you're going to need text. So you want to click on the text tool, which is right up here at the top next to the pen tool. Or you can hit Control T. And you want to click anywhere inside this little preview here to create a text box and type whatever text you want. Now, since this is a tutorial, I'm going to be super creative and just type text. You can use whatever font you want. The font I'm using is Nemesis Grant because that's the font that I use everywhere on my channel. Drag the text to where you want. You can size it up. If you hold shift, it will size up normally instead of looking stupid. Or to make sure there's no quality loss, you can just up the pixel size of the text right here. All right, so now that we got our text, you're going to go down into your composition and click back on the black solid. And now we're going to mess around with some of the settings. So the first thing we need to do is at the bottom where it says alpha mode, we need to select that and change it to enable masks. Uh, this is because we're actually using this text layer as a mask. We're not actually going to see this text in the final render. Next important thing you need to do is go to customize core. Click on this little arrow to drop it down. And where it says core type, change it from saber to text layer. And then you'll see this text layer icon has appeared now. And you can select these two boxes. Now you want to click on the first box and select the text layer that you just made. So like I said before, we don't actually want to see this text layer. So at the bottom of the screen, where the text layer is, you want to click on this little eye symbol and that will hide the layer. And this is what you're left with. The reason it looks like this is because it is using the text alpha. So back in the black solid settings, you will see at the bottom of the screen, it says use text alpha and it's checked. Uncheck it. And there you go. It is no longer covering the entire text. The glow goes outside of the text as well. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it's a bit bright, so you can just mess around with the settings, turn down the intensity or the core size, whatever you feel like doing, you can up the core size to make it, what the fuck. You're essentially done there, but I want to note a couple things to one, make your experience easier, and two, make sure you don't mess up along the way. First thing is, if you want to move the text, re-enable the text layer and just move it wherever you want. Do not move the black solid. The reason for this is, if I go back to the black solid, up the glow intensity, and maybe quickly move the text layer. Let's say the text layer was off to the side like this. And I wanted to move it back across, but I moved the black solid instead of the text. Because the glow is off the screen now, if you move the black solid, the glow gets cut off. And that looks weird. That's not how it's meant to look. So always make sure you move the text layer and not the black solid. All right, now some things to make your text look cooler and make your life easier. Uh, there's a lot of settings you can mess around with in Saber. There's customized core, flicker, distortion, glow settings, render settings, a whole bunch of stuff. Too much effort. I cannot be bothered for any of that. So instead, at the top of the screen, you'll see preset. If you hit on the part where it says select, a whole bunch of stuff comes down. Now, if you want to go back to that lightsaber look before, just hit default. It will go back to how it was when we originally did it. But there is a whole bunch of other stuff here. Arc React is a good one that looks kind of lightning. Looks kind of lightning. Yes, someone put that on an inspirational poster. Hang it up on your wall. There's a whole bunch of them. Burning, cellular, like I'd recommend just going through all of these and checking them all out. But there's also more at the bottom here. If you hit down this arrow, there's about five or six more. But that's not all. Let's say you select something like kryptonite. 
and you don't like the green, you want a different color, let's say you really like this preset, but you don't like the shade of green it is. Maybe you wanted a, a different green or a different color entirely. At the top, you'll see glow color and you'll see this little box. If you click on the color box, it will bring up the color setting box here. You can move this around, but also back us off to the side. You can select any color and it will update for you instantly. So let's say you wanted a nice purple. There it is. Done. Easy. You don't want purple? You want blue? There. Blue. You want a lighter blue? Boom. Lighter blue. You want a red? Red. It's that easy. It's, it's amazing. I feel like this is an advert for Saber. I was not sponsored, by the way. But for people who are new to Saber as well, a lot of these presets are actually animated. So if I hit space right now to play back, my computer will try and render it. This is not going in real time. But yeah, they're actually animated. One more thing I want to say is if you want to render this out and you want it as a PNG or you want no background, so composition, add to render queue. First off, that's how you render anything anyways. You want to hit on the lossless here and you can change it to whatever format you want. I use QuickTimes because it's easy. And this is where you can change it if you want no background or you want the black background. So where you see video output, you'll see channels and it'll say RGB. To make it so it's transparent, click on the RGB, select RGB plus alpha, hit OK, and that's it, you're done. Now it will render without the black background. Anyways, that's all from me. I hope this was a simple tutorial and easy to follow. If it did help you, I'd appreciate a like, it would help me out a lot, and it would let more people see this tutorial to help them. Like I said, I stream every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, twitch.tv forward slash Zeusify, so if you scroll down to the description, the link will also be there. I'd love to see you, so go ahead and follow that. And if you are new here, please subscribe. i greatly appreciate it. You can always unsubscribe if you want. I also upload every single Friday, so never miss a video. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'd love to see what you guys make with this, and I'll see you next week.